My name is Kaylee, and in this video, we are going to take a look at a major new discovery from Germany, where archaeologists came across the remnants of what seems to be a Neanderthal fat factory. A Neanderthal the who the what now? Yeah, no, you heard me right the first time. A Neanderthal fat factory factory, which is a location specifically designed to extract the fat from the bones of animals for consumption. This video is sponsored by Odoo, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. So back in December of 2021, I made a video where I spoke about the discovery of land clearing by the hands of Neanderthals some 125,000 years ago. And this occurred at the modern day archeological site Neumark Nord in Germany that dates back to the Middle Paleolithic. And this new discovery of the fat factory is located at this exact site as well. The Middle Paleolithic site of Neumark Nord was discovered back in the 1980s, and archaeologists have been excavating at the site since the late 1990s. Yes, that sounds so, so wrong to say, late 1990s. Makes me feel so old. So if you do the math, you know that it's been three and a half years since the land clearing discovery was made at this location. But archaeologists in the area haven't sat still. No, in fact, they kept digging and researching their findings and they have made a major new discovery. So it turns out that the Neanderthals who cleared the land were most likely doing it to make hunting much easier, which is something I also looked at back in my video in 2021. And yes, in that video, I also looked at the possibility of Neanderthals having started a very very, very rudimentary form of farming, and loads of people got very angry at me for suggesting that, but you know, I like to look at plausible explanations. And while land clearing to make hunting easier is most likely the foremost reason, the Neanderthals could have still figured out that when they dropped seeds, plants would grow. So it really wasn't too far-fetched. Before we dive into today's topic, this video is sponsored by Odoo, the all-in-one business management software designed to make life easier for entrepreneurs. Whether you're running a small startup or you're managing a growing enterprise, Odoo gives you access to over 45 integrated, easy-to-use apps, everything from CRM, sales, invoicing, project management, to inventory, website creation, HR, and more. Even if you're running a YouTube channel or you are learning for your classes and need to organize your projects, Odoo has you covered. Your first Odoo app is completely free for life, with unlimited hosting and support included. There's no excuse not to give it a try. All Odoo apps are fully integrated, so you have a sale, it would instantly get linked to inventory and accounting. No extra steps, no syncing between disconnected platforms. It just works. It's also incredibly intuitive. The interface is clean, easy to navigate, and doesn't require extensive tech knowledge to work perfectly. You can also scale as you grow. Need to expand? Just add another app. It is truly that easy. From 19 euros, 90 cents per month, get access to all the apps they offer. So if you need two or 22, it's all the same monthly fee. So if you're ready to centralize, automate and grow, click the link in the description down below and start using Odoo today. The discovery of this fat factory is another clue as to how intelligent Neanderthals truly were. And the idea that persisted for so long that they were just simply dumb brutes couldn't be further from the truth. So we know, without a doubt, that 125,000 years ago Neanderthals lived in the area of the Neumark Nord site, which is located some 35 kilometers east of Leipzig, and consists of several Paleolithic lake basins that all contain Pleistocene archaeology and fossil material. So all the way back at least 125,000 years ago, when these lakes were still, you know, lakes and not dried up riverbeds, uh, and Neanderthals lived in this area, they seem to have cleared the land and hunted in a very well-organized manner. This has become evident from this latest discovery, as they had to transport and store the carcasses beyond their immediate food needs to this one location, specifically designed for the task where they then rendered the fat. Neanderthals seem to have lived at the Neumark Nord site for a period of around 300 years, and it seems like they clearly understood the nutritional value of the bone grease that they produced. 
As we all know in modern times, a small amount of fat is an essential part of a healthy and balanced diet. But back in the Ice Age, when hunter-gatherers like, for instance, the Neanderthals and other now extinct human species were still around, this was even more important, as these people most likely depended heavily on animal foods, making fat an even more essential part of their diet. When a diet is deficient of fatty acids and dominated by lean meat, it can lead to a debilitating and sometimes lethal form of malnutrition, as the ability and capacity of liver enzymes to break down the protein and get rid of excess nitrogen is impaired. Known in modern times as protein poisoning, but has also been known as rabbit poisoning among early European explorers of North America. So as we all know, Neanderthals were very similar in size to us modern humans, you know, Homo sapiens. And their average body weight ranged from 50 to around 80 kilograms, which equates to roughly 110 to 175 pounds. So these Neanderthals would have had to keep their consumption of protein below 300 grams, which equated to around 10 ounces per day, to avoid contracting the protein poisoning condition. But this limited their dietary protein sources to around 1200 calories daily, which really is far too short for their daily energy needs. So they probably needed to source their remaining calorie intake from non-protein sources, either carbohydrates or fats. So cuts of meat from animal muscle are high in protein, but low in fat, while the bones contain marrow and other fatty tissue even when an animal was malnourished, which made it a much more important resource. So the researchers at the Neumark Nord site discovered that the overwhelming majority of the animal remains at the site came from 172 individual large animals, like for instance, horse, deer, and aurochs. Aurochs were large cow-like animals that have gone extinct since. So it seems that Neanderthals selected the longest bones of these animals. The longest bones would have been the bones that would have contained the most marrow. Unfortunately, it is unclear how they would cook these bones, especially since this is a time period way before pottery was invented. However, the researchers have suggested that the Neanderthals may have fashioned containers or some type of pot from birch bark, animal skin, or other animal body parts, like for instance, stomach linings that they would have filled with water and hanging them over a fire. Yeah, very inventive. The fat they extracted from the bones may have been consumed in a greasy broth, where plants may have been added for flavor as well as nutritional value. This is very likely as the researchers came across the charred remains of hazelnut, acorn, and slow plum during excavations as well. So Neanderthals seem to have honed their survival skills far beyond what we used to perceive that they were capable of. They were able to organize their group, strategize and plan their hunts, strategized how they would transport the carcasses back to their fat factory location, and then they would have to smash the marrow-rich bones with stone hammers, boiling them for several hours to extract the fat, which then floats to the surface and can be skimmed off when it's all cooled down. It all goes to show that Neanderthals were master planners who looked ahead, organized complex tasks, and squeezed every last calorie from their environment. And as more research is being done into Neanderthals and we uncover more insights into their lives, it becomes more and more clear how highly skilled and intelligent they truly were. They lived with a refined sense of ecological adaptation. Actually, there are two more discoveries surrounding Neanderthals one in uh, Israel and one in Belgium that were all announced a few days apart from each other, including this one. And I will try to cover those discoveries either in YouTube Shorts or long videos here on the channel. But I also have a couple fun video projects that I've been working on, so we will see if I can get to it or not. So worst case, I will just include those discoveries in the Neanderthal documentary that I've been working on for the past, you know, 1.5 years <laughs> that will hopefully come out somewhere in the next two years. It really depends on a number of factors and I want the documentary to be my absolute best work. So it'll take time and uh, loads of energy to create and I need to contact paleo artists to create artwork for me for the documentary and all that stuff. But before I drift off completely, I have one last question to ask of you. What do you think of this latest discovery from Germany? A Neanderthal fat factory, another piece of evidence for their high intelligence and amazing skill set. Let me know in the comments down below. 
If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the videos in the description down below. Or, you know, click a video in the end card. It's uh, up to you if you want to watch more or not. I would also like to thank my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It truly means the world to me. As I said, I'm working on a number of fun projects that will become future videos here on the channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. And uh, let the next heat wave start because uh, it's already getting hot again. See you next time. Bye.